Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Turnstiles Renewed plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to have players pay to enter through a gate. So this is similar to real life where you have a turnstile leading into a public bathroom and you have to put in maybe 50 cents or a euro or pound, something similar like that. And it is fully customizable. You can have it perform a command when players pay to enter. You can have an item be required instead of cash, for example. So I've got a couple of examples here and then I will show you how to make one of your own. So this one here is an entrance and it costs $1 and all you need to do is right click. Now you can see how brief this pops up and you can actually change the delay before the block reappears. So for this you have to be very very quick otherwise you will not pass through. Now that can help prevent other players from following in behind, um, however you don't want it too quick that players won't be able to get through. So that is the first one, as you can see in chat it says the turnstile is open, your account got charged $1. And if I look at my balance I have 5 million and then $96 and then if I do the same command now I've got $95. So over here I have two different turnstiles, so the one on the right is going to perform a command and it's actually going to set it to night time. Not only that, it cost me $10 to do so. Now the one on the left is going to set it to daytime and it's going to cost $99 plus a diamond which was in my hand. Now if you don't have a diamond, it's going to say this message, you don't have the required item, one times diamond, and it will not perform the command. So let's show you how to create one now. So all you need is a fence post and you can put it down anywhere, typically you know, between some blocks so players can actually go through it and not just around it. And what you need to do is the forward slash turnstile command. This is going to show you all the different commands. The first one is the create command. So once you've done that, it will give it an ID and the coordinates. And then by default, it's a dollar and maybe two seconds or so before it will reappear. And maybe three seconds, actually, that was quite a long time. Um, so obviously you want to probably shorten that. That is far too long. It allows 20 people to rush through. So we can do delay and then maybe 0.5, so half a second. And then right click and that is a pretty reasonable amount of time to get through even if you are lagging a bit. Now the next thing we can do is set the price. I'm going to set it to a hundred bucks to go through this. And then if you want to set an item, what you need to do is actually grab the item in your hand. So let's just do a piece of stone, keep it nice and cheap and do turnstile item while holding the item, hit enter and then we've assigned it to this fence. So if I right click, it will take my item and cost $100 plus one bit of stone. And then now obviously I cannot do that anymore. Now there's a few other commands and that is gonna allow you to give a particular command to this. So we've done day, we've done night, we could do uh, weather rain. And then finally you can set the owner. So if it wasn't myself already, I could switch the owner to someone else. Now the final command is the forward slash turnstile remove command, which will obviously remove the one you're looking at. So here we are on the s and control panel, and as you can see, there are two different items. The config.yml doesn't really have much. That's going to save all the locations of your turnstiles. And then we have the messages.yml. This is just going to be the stuff that pops up in chat. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's a pretty new plugin. It was updated from 1.19. And then here are the commands and permissions you would want to give your players. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.